Kelly here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to run through how to do sky replacement in Lumina Neo. I don't know if you've ever seen how it's done in Photoshop and various other programs, but I thought while I've been doing a few videos on Neo that I would pop this one in because it's another really good application that you can use for your photo. So I took this image at Norlunga Beach in South Australia. I think it's Norlunga Beach. Anyway, it's nothing wrong with the photo, but this it was a, one of those beautiful blue sky days and there's not a cloud in the sky and it actually just makes the photo look a little drab and boring in my opinion. So what I did was I went to my catalog, I picked a photo, I've gone over to edit and I can go through and I can edit the photo and, and do pretty much anything that I need to do in here, brighten it up a little bit, um, play around with it. But if I go into Sky AI, this is where the magic happens. So there's different ones that it suggests for this image or if you click on sky selection there will be depending on how many skies you've maybe installed so there's night skies there's day skies I've got some Halloween ones as, as well here so but I just wanted to pick something that was sort of wispy summery skies because that's kind of what we had happening. So I've got this really nice fluffy sort of white cloudy sky and it adds a little bit more interest to the image. So I can come through and I can change that around so I can move the horizon which it was perfectly fine where it was by the way so I'll put that back. The vertical position so I can change that oops again I'm going to re-put that I can change the horizontal position so perhaps I want to move the sky along a little bit I can flip it so I can have it going the other way there's different mask refinements so you can change whether you want things to happen globally close the gaps between the sky and your horizon line you can relight the scene to match in with your lighting a little more or your sky a little more you can saturate your relight you can play with things like that then you've got things that you can add such as reflections and this will reflect it's quite subtle here because the water's a little choppy but it will reflect the clouds in your water a little more you don't have to have it on but it does tend to make a bit more sense if you want to blur your water you can do that as well so it is trying to if I go a bit it sort of softens some of the water out a little bit but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Then you've got other things like you can defocus. So if you are shooting at say F4 and you're just getting something here in the foreground, then obviously your background would be in a lot of blur, but you don't have to blur it out if you don't want to, or you can be quite subtle with your blur. It's up to you what you choose. You can add grain to the blur. If your image is quite grainy but the sky that you put in isn't, you can add grain into your blur as well so that it sort of matches in a bit. That's probably just a bit too much. <laughs> um, you've got atmospheric haze that you can also add into your image. So if you've got a foggy day or something like that, you can add a little bit of haze into it. You can also add in or take away warmth and brightness. So if you want to make it a little warmer or a little cooler, you can do that. So cool goes to the left, warm goes to the right 
and you can make it a little brighter or a little darker depending on what you want so there's all your options for playing with your skies I don't think I want it warm I probably want it to be maybe just a tad cooler um, but that's just personal choice if you decide that you want a different sky you can come in and you can reset it and you can put in a different sky and there's lots of different options if you want to get more skies click on get more skies and it will take you to marketplace and you will probably find a whole heap of sky images available so setting sun dramatic skies all sorts of things vast horizon skies things like that so there's lots of different options that you can get with varying prices in the marketplace if you want to add your own skies click on that plus and go to where you probably have them stored on your computer so i actually have a sky pack funny about that and you can install your own skies as well and you can play around with them okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it if there's anything that you would like me to create or put together for you just let me know in the comments below and i'll happily have a look at doing something for you so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye for now